first member of the woodwind family is the highest pitched one as the flute. And many of you heard the flute imitating birds an awful lot. Or playing a beautiful melody like this. I should mention with the flute, if you don't get a sound out of this instrument right away, it could be very frustrating. So it's very tricky. You gotta cover half of this thing with your bottom lip and get it in order to get a sound out. So if you want to play the flute, I recommend trying it out first, um, just to make sure that it's one of the instruments that's gonna work well for you. There's a lot of other cool instruments, so don't get stuck on just one instrument. Try and try out a couple different ones. This here is the clarinet, and as you can see, it's all black, the silver keys. Sometimes they're made of wood, and usually they have a wooden reed right there, and without this reed, the clarinet wouldn't make any sound at all. So being such a woody instrument, it gets a very woody sound, and the clarinets often get lots of really beautiful things to play in the band and lots of fun stuff, like this uh, rag that I'm about to play you by Scott Joplin. instrument of the Woodwind family is the saxophone. This one's an alto saxophone. This is what most students will start on. And again, it's got the wooden reed like the clarinet. And it's going to hopefully have a more clarinet-like sound in the concert band than you will have, say, when you hear it in the jazz band or with a rock band on the radio. So here's what the saxophone in the concert band might sound like. <laughs> simple there's two parts you got the mouthpiece you got the trumpet and you just you do a little buzz into the mouthpiece to get a sound and you put it together
French horn, if you uncoil all the brass in this thing, it would stretch 40 feet long. That's probably all the way across this room or more. And this French horn gets to play a lot of cool melodies in the movie. So whenever you watch a movie, that melody is often getting played by this thing. And here's one of them. So if you're thinking about tuba and you're a little too small, we might start you off on baritone first and move you up to tuba once you're big enough to play it. So here's a little bit of what the baritone can sound like. <laughs> Chasing after Bugs Bunny, he's singing this song an awful lot when he's hunting Wabbit. <laughs> Thank you. 